It's about time I uh, got back on the old YouTube train. It's been a while. Work's got in the way. It didn't hit me till a little bit ago that I'd been like, it's been a month? That's crazy talk. Alright, so, because I haven't played in a while, instead of doing Neo 2, I figured I would do something a little more interesting. And play a horror game. This is called They Are Here. So this is a, from what I could tell, it's about alien abduction horror, if you couldn't tell from the title right there. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I think I read, like, the premise in Steam, which is, like, we're a reporter going to a farmstead investigating alien abduction. I haven't seen any videos. I haven't seen any, like, any of the screenshots, etc. Like, I'm just playing it. But the thing that's going to make this interesting is that, like, Aliens and alien abduction and shit is, like, literally one of my worst fears. Like, I can't even watch the movie Signs or War of the Worlds. Like, I just get... Like, it's not even, like, a jump scare fear. It's, like, a, a creeping in my back, and I hate it. It bugs me. But anyway, let's do this. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed the bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at different speeds after a while they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. Uh, the dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their window. Oh my fucking god, sorry. Uh... Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Oh, God. Okay, so, just some backstory behind me. I don't do horror games. It's just, it's not what I do. Uh... I played Amnesia The Dark Descent a long time ago, and I think it maxed out my horror, like, gland. All right, we're in a car. We're out of a car. Oh, no. What? Whew. Okay. Task, talk to former Peter Sherman. Oh, my God. Oh, I already hate this. I already fucking hate- oh my god, this-, this what? Why? What? I mean, isn't that all we need? Can I just leave? Like, that's good enough, right? Get the Roswell guys on this, not me for- why am I- Like, what the fuck? Ha! Nope. I choose the dark, scary pet. Really? An invisible wall? I don't want it. I'm just kidding. It's not that scary. Oh, I'm gonna fucking eat my words, aren't I? It's not even that scary yet. It's not even that scary yet. Come on, my, I'm Donnie Vick. I'm literally named after a ghost story. Not aliens, though. I hate when I have to look two places at once. Once. Uh, fuck this. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Fuck you, too, you bastard, for just. Oh, I don't want it. 
the bathroom. Nice bathroom. It's a nice bathroom you get there, sir. Lights are still there. All right, what's this say? Uh, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. Well, oh fuck! My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll have, we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. machine button? No? Okay. Is the door still open behind me? Fuck you, door. Please just, yes, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, why? Fuck you. The photo members of the Sherman family. Oh, that's it. Newspapers information about UFOs. Who would have fucking thought? Hmm. Sorry, taking a sip of my coffee. Uh, these phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this? Pizza, Coke, milk, coffee, shit. These dudes knew what was up. Why? Mind, we aren't gonna explore the first floor first. All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god! I do not do horror games. I'm so tense right now. Oh. Oh shit! I think he was planning to bounce. Hey, doggy, doggy. Oh, what your good doggy do? Right. There's a light on in there. Fuck that noise. Oh no. They said they heard shit outside their window. See the walkie talkie. Why is it getting worse? Oh. No, I see the arrow. Mm. Both sides? Oh. Oh, here it comes. No? Oh. Wait. Did she climb out? my daughter's room during the night I heard a strange noise when I came in she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open I'm sure she was abducted by those things walk up to the window here no still don't see anything god who the fuck even have a command I can't even see out that fucking window. Wait a minute, I can see the other window though. Anything over there? Anything to worry about? No? Okay. <sighs> Trying to like, rotate it, get better reception. Is that what's happening here? No, it doesn't look like 
like it. Never mind. Oh, I'm so tense. I swear to God. Is he gonna have a weapon? I don't know karate, but I'm no crazy motherfucker. I will fucking use it. To quote Owen Wilson from Shanghai Nights. Okay, I see him researching computers. Let's rumble. Okay. Shut that, please. No, no, open. No. Okay. Uh, this looks like it's important. I don't want to trigger anything just yet. Not outside. Anything outside yet? I'm going to look into one of these windows in like a previous room. I'm going to see something like in there and I'll be like, were you in there with me? What's this? Looks like a dead one. Oh, fuck that. That one especially. Oh, it looks like he was toiling through all kinds of shit. What? I'm just gonna shut that real quick. Ah, yep. Good shit. Learned a lot about these things. They're called the Greys. He keeps saying it like they're really there. Oh, I mean, we legit just saw a spaceship. Why am I even arguing it? Uh, these are not little green men, but big, creepy, dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be... What was that click? They can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black hair, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. They're very aggressive towards people. This is just the movie Signs. It all starts with bright lights in the sky in your home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, which has severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. The animals start freaking out. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. Marks in their body. Oh my god, it just scared the fuck out of me. Oh. My. Fucking. God. I feel like a dick. I'm literally just walking in young Sherman's house. Oh god, now I know there's gonna be something, right? Did I leave that door open or did I shut it? Do I need a key? I feel like I need a key for that door downstairs, right? What's this? How my old diary, how could I forget that? When I was 15, when did I ever get that? Today was the most exciting and the scariest day of my life. I saw, oh god, my parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier in the river. I don't know where I'm going. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity, everything around me became blindingly bright. This seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. Oh, God. They were standing over me. Seemingly, they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing, and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts of my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my... <sighs> what was that? I'm scared to sleep. Mm. Okay... I feel like the camera...
I, I even used to consider myself a brave person. But like right now, hell no. See, the thing I hate about flashlights is that, yeah, you can see, but now everything can also see you. Yep, uh, let's do that real quick. Uh, that makes me feel better. Okay, can I turn you off, please? Just like a thing I can do quick. Nope. Alright, time to go outside. Ooh. Why did that open? Did I click that open? I didn't click that open. Shut that. Thank you very much. Good shit. All right, what are these? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's fucked up. All right. Did you quit ticking, motherfucker? I'm just gonna shut that real quick. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Child headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then, oh my God, shut up, that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter implant because of this. I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh my fucking god. Don't pick that up! Okay, it's a little jar. Maybe take it. Oh my god. It's a demo. There's no way that built in is the option to not take this. But it's a fucking transmitter. If I take this, they're coming for my ass, right? I hate you, YouTube. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Do not be open. Thank fucking God. Oh, the door's right here. That's right. Can I turn this off and see better outside? I can. I hear you fucking making noises, dick. I just got goosebumps over my entire body. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, thank God that dumbass music stopped. My God. Still to say the same thing? Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, now probably what is going to be the worst part of this, and I'm guessing the end of the demo is my walk back through here. <sighs> what? Shut your bitch ass up, you motherfucker. Running to the car. Running to the car. Running to the car. 
Thank God. Uh, excuse me. Demo, thank you for that. I needed that. Oh. 